At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in the country, it was mandatory for asymptomatic patients who showed no signs or symptoms of the virus to remain in isolation. Well, 100 days into the pandemic, 85% of Kenya's confirmed cases have turned out to be asymptomatic, forcing the country to introduce home-based care to decongest hospitals across the country. Well, 27-year-old Kelvin Aura Odiambo, the patient 257, was the first positive case recorded in Homabe in April. He spent 44 days in the Malela Dispensary Isolation uh, Facility in Diwa and was tested seven times before he was discharged. All this time, Kelvin was asymptomatic. And as the Ministry of Health now adopts home-based care for patients in uh, this cadre, he reflects on his own harrowing experience. Dorcas Wangira once more reports. <laughs> 27-year-old Kelvin Aure Othiambo, a house driver, has weathered what are to him the worst 60 days of his life, 44 of which he spent in isolation at the Malela Dispensary in Ndiwa, Homa Bay County. He came back to Nairobi after testing negative for COVID-19 after the seventh test and had to self-quarantine for another 14 days. Kelvin was referred to as patient 257. The first case of COVID-19 publicly announced from Homer Bay County. His account, as told by the Ministry of Health on 18th April, he says was widely inaccurate. In first case, what would test you for COVID? Nakini hawajai weka wa majina yao kwa public. Nakini mimi ime kwa specify ata jirani anajua nilienda matanga Homer Bay. All drivers tested positive. Nakini wawekwangi kwa public, like now kama ata venye na tembe yangu. The driver who traveled with an empty coffin. Hmm? What started for him as a journey from Nairobi to Kindu Bay with a family of nine ended up with him as the only one in the isolation center. He was tested first on 16th April at KMTC Homa Bay and isolated at Malela in Diwa the next day. But to date, never saw the initial positive results. Besides being tested for COVID-19, he was also tested for malaria and HIV. All this time, he had no symptoms, no coughs, no fever. His temperature was normal, no sneezing. Na huko nani, walileta au counselors na advisors. Wakaniambia, my immune system, it means it is strong. So, hakuna changes yote nezatokea kwa mwili, na wataacha iyo immune system yangu, it fight all virus in kwa mwili. So my big question in the court is how to help the home be. Ni kama imini yangu iko strong. Kwa nini ni kai muda yote, hii muda mrefu. Resigned to his fate, he stayed on and was tested 14 days later. He tested positive. Seven days later, he was still positive again. After 28 days, he was still positive. His gate is mifungwa na vifuli. Wanafungua wakati wanaleta hiyo chakula. Na wanafunga tena. Kila kitu hakuna venyuneza kisese hata tujua. Hakuna. Ukiuliza na kambia that is the meaning of isolation. So, maisha huko hili kwa tuka majela. The doctors and nurses, he says, treated him well. He was only given medicine once, though not told why and what for. His family of two daughters was without a breadwinner. Maisha huko ndani ni mekua magumu. Mtu wa familia, watoto wana kupigia simu, wanalia kwa simu, watoto wana kuliza. Baba, kwani wako na corona gani nyaishi? What kept him sane was the contact he had with his family and friends. By the time he was getting to the fifth test, the health workers could no longer collect his nasal pharyngeal swab. Kwa kitoa, adamu inanda kumagipa. So, in, hii test is a bill is a mwishu za nyezi mekuja zikatani negative. Wali avoid ya mapua, wakeka mdomu. Days turned into weeks. Weeks culminated into two months until he tested negative before being discharged on the 30th of May. Naana kama mendi the longest patient of COVID-19 in isolation with a symptomatic patient in Kenya. Sisi, nataka kusema, tulipo anza hii safari, kuna makosa mengi tulifanya. Na kuna watu tulipeleka quarantine, ambao waliu waliumia sana, 
lakini sisi tukisema tu pole kwa sababu sisi ni binadamu when Kenya's covid-19 curve was at the initial phase asymptomatic patients like Kelvin had no choice but to remain in isolation for as long as they tested positive the ministry of health insisted that this group of silent spreaders were capable of infecting numerous contacts 100 days into the pandemic with 4738 cases later the government's approach has changed it makes no business sense to be able to manage these people in a hospital facility you can be able to manage them in a home based isolation facility so far 550 mild and asymptomatic patients have been allowed to leave the Kenyatta University Hospital and the Coast Provincial General Hospital for treatment at home Kelvin knows too well what it's like to be positive without showing any symptoms he says achieving home based care is a tall order the government should really plan and execute considering the circumstances of people living in low income areas who cannot meet the WHO standards familia kama imezidi watu tano na maisha kama ya town napata ni chumba moja moto vitu kama hicho bafu ya kuoga na hata hizi chakula venye nakula jukule venye ndio isolation ile sana ulikuwa unakulia haingerudi tena kukusaa automatic kweli yeye mwenyewe anaona kweli amekubali ana symptomatic but measures zile umemwekea pale ndizi zinamuumiza yeye Owing to the fact that at least 80% of Kenya's positive COVID-19 cases are asymptomatic, now the government is looking to home-based care for asymptomatic patients. The question remains just how effective will this be? Dorcas Swangira Citizen TV, Mathare Area 1, Nairobi.